What if a machine could see your dreams? I'm not talking about some distant sci-fi future. I mean technology that exists right now. Mind-reading AI is decoding people's thoughts and visions directly from brain activity. And the results are stranger than fiction. I'm sure you've heard wild claims about government mind control and evil AI taking over people's brains. Today, I'll separate fact from fiction and show how close we truly are to unlocking the mind's deepest mysteries. Let's start from the beginning. What do we mean by mind reading? Essentially, mind reading involves decoding someone's thoughts directly from their brain activity. Rather than relying on them to verbally communicate their internal state, the goal is to detect and interpret the patterns of electrical signals firing in their brain. So how exactly scientists did that? Worked was they put human beings inside an fMRI machine. They had them look at images and figure out what the patterns are, like translate from uh, image to brain patterns. And then of course they would hide the image. So this is a image of a giraffe that the computer has never seen. It's only looking at the fMRI data, and this is what the computer thinks the human is seeing. Yeah. This paper, the one that happened even after this, which is already better, uses stable diffusion, uses the thing that you use to make art. Like, what should a thing that you use to make art have anything to do with reading your brain? But of course it goes further. So in this one, they said, can they understand um, the inner monologue, that there's a woman, she gets hit in the back, she falls over. This is what the computer reconstructed the person thinking. See, a girl looks just like me, get hit in the back, and then she is knocked off. Scientists have made huge strides in decoding various aspects of cognition from brain scans. This was enabled by the rise of machine learning, which can analyze vast amounts of neural data and discover subtle correlations that humans would never notice. One major focus has been reconstructing visual data, reading what someone is seeing directly from their visual cortex. A few years ago, researchers showed they could identify basic shapes a person was looking at, like squares and circles. But recently, the quality has gotten shockingly good. In 2019, neuroscientists at UC Berkeley revealed they could reconstruct faces and even entire short videos from people's brain activity as measured by functional MRI machines. While the visuals are still grainy and low-res, they successfully convey the gist of what the viewer saw. But even more impressive are the results from a new technique called MEG that can read brain activity down to the millisecond. This allows for reconstructing dynamic videos in real time as you watch them. Just this month, researchers at Meta published mind-blowing videos showing the reconstruction of clips from nature documentaries and cooking shows purely from the viewer's MEG data. While the visual decoding is crude, it's precise enough to understand the basic narrative, a huge leap towards reconstructing a person's internal train of thought. And with this rapid progress, it likely won't be long before brain scans can see your dreams in HD quality. But it goes even further. Researchers from Japan recently decoded dreams using AI analysis of fMRI data. Test subjects were woken repeatedly during REM sleep and asked to detail their dreams. Meanwhile, Algorithms predicted the dream contents from prior sleep scans with 60% accuracy, effectively mind-reading. Of course, the technology is far from perfect. But rapid progress in deep learning means AI mime readers are only going to get better. Some experts predict these systems could achieve TV-like dream recordings within the next decade. Beyond dreams, brain decoding aims to give a voice to those unable to communicate, like ALS patients locked in their bodies. Neural implants are allowing paralyzed people to type just by thinking the words. And you've likely heard of Neuralink's aspirations to achieve symbiosis between humans and AI. While tech visionaries paint a rosy picture of brain interfaces enhancing our cognition and creativity, there are dystopian risks to consider as well. Powerful systems capable of peering into minds could usher in an age of privacy violations. Governments and corporations may someday routinely scan brains for sensitive information against people's will. However, for now, fMRI machines are massive, expensive, rare, and require active consent to scan brains. The path to non-consensual mass surveillance is thankfully far off, if not impossible. With prudent ethics oversight, mind-reading AI can usher in a new era of understanding ourselves and others at the deepest level. Imaging gives objective insights no psychologist could ever match. 
and shared thoughts could allow communication transcending language. Now, you might be wondering, can AI mind reading reveal your deepest, darkest secrets against your will? Thankfully, that kind of nefarious use is still safely in the realm of fiction. Both fMRI and Meg machines, bulky and expensive, and require your active recuperation inside the scanner. However, consensual mind reading could enable incredible applications, especially for people who have lost the ability to communicate normally. Recently, breakthrough brain implants allowed paralyzed people to spell out words purely by thinking them, using AI to interpret the brain patterns. Neuralink is pushing this technology even further, developing brain-computer interfaces to restore mobility and independence to those with disabilities. Now, I can guess what some of you are thinking. If AI can read my thoughts, does it know me better than I know myself? Can it uncover subconscious biases and tendencies I'm not even aware of? That is an intriguing possibility. With access to your raw brain data, AI could potentially detect medical conditions like depression, PTSD, or even early dementia before obvious symptoms appear. This raises fascinating philosophical questions. Our thoughts and inner voices are intimately tied to our sense of identity and free will. If an AI assistant had access to your brain activity in real time, would it feel intrusive? Or could it become an invaluable guide, using your cognitive patterns to provide personalized advice? As with any powerful technology, there are potential risks of misuse that must be carefully considered. But rather than fear, I think mind-reading AI should spark optimism. Mind-reading ability will only grow more sophisticated as science progresses. While ethical constraints may limit applications for now, Eventually, brain scanning could become as commonplace as fingerprint ID. We must set the right precedents today to ensure this technology enriches rather than violates people's lives. All right, that's all for today's Futurism download. Let me know your thoughts on mind-reading tech in the comments.